They are those with very sharp eyes who, who begrudge us for what God has given us. They wish our oil was theirs. They wish our diamonds and gold and all we have by way of underground worth all that wealth they wish was their own. How can these natives continue to have that? And when they look at their little island, the little Brit British Isles there, naked with nothing, nothing to offer, except now the remains of coal, which they are burning every day. When they look at us, and America which is vast territory, with all those automobiles, the flying ones and the ones that run on our roads, the railways, the trains, and they say, ah, the oil we have is not enough. The fuel we have is not enough to sustain us. Not enough diesel. Let us store this ours. There is loss in Africa. They don't know what to do with it in Africa. We will get it by hook or by crook. And they cause wars where there, is, there has been peace. Suddenly there is war. Suddenly there is war in Iraq, where would, Saddam Hussein, he might have been a dictator, but there was peace in his country. They want his oil. And Bush says, no, this man, as an excuse, you must open the door. This man is a cruel man. He is preparing to slaughter others. He has weapons, weapons of mass destruction. Poor Saddam Hussein has no media. He cannot answer properly. He cannot defend himself and protect himself. He has weapons of mass destruction. Bush goes to the United Nations. No, the United Nations cannot sustain it, no. Well, with or without the United Nations, I will go. Fight this man. He is a danger, a danger to the world. And little Bush says, sorry, little, little Blair says, I will follow. Follow my lead, uh, follow my lead, uh, wherever he goes. And there they go, the two, the two of them. And sure, Saddam Hussein, they arrest him from his hideout, and they had him tried, they had him executed. Later, ah, you know, Mr. Bush, we told a lie. Ah, but we know how to put it to the world. Ah, oh, now we have found that Saddam Hussein had no weapons of mass destruction. In the meantime, Bush and his brother had a company sucking oil in Iraq. These are facts. The same story is told about poor Gaddafi, killing civilians. This comes to the United Nations Security Council, Chapter 7. He gets, they get the NATO powers, the two states majority, and there they go, all of them. The leader of Britain, 
the leader of France, the leader of Italy, Berlusconi. You know, I never knew Berlusconi loved fights. I, I knew he loved women. <laughs> but this time he had to go with others also, women afterwards. But I must, I must get the oil first. And they were given oil, as I said last night, 35%. Gaddafi is killed, alongside children, also killed. I don't know whether one or two children are still alive. Now look at, look at the turmoil there is in Iraq. Look at the turmoil there is in Libya. All that, to confuse the situation so they can have a, an excuse to go in and draw if you will, as we fight each other. They are busy drawing a, a, a fuel and enriching themselves. The same problems are caused us elsewhere. And there are others that we ourselves can prevent that begin between amongst ourselves tribalisms, racisms, failure to agree on politics, which which way we should go, who should rule, who should not. And we put a yoke on our around our necks, we say, yeah, each 